Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to get semi-untethered iOS 5. So here we have my iPhone 4, and this is on iOS 5 jailbroken, and it is uh, tethered, um, that's what you can call it, where if you turn it off, and you go to turn it back on, it'll just be in that boot loop, it won't turn on until you bring it into the computer, and you click just boot tethered from Red Snow. So we go ahead and unlock, and we can see that we got Cydia right here. And if we go ahead and open this up. So I'm going to be showing you how to get semi-tethered or semi-untethered. So what that means is if you turn it off and you turn it back on, you'll be able to access all of your main functions as if it was an unjailbroken phone. But all your city tweaks, including city alone, will not open up or nor work. So um, it's very good. So if you're on the road, you don't have to uh, go ahead and like boot tethered or be stuck without a phone for days. Um, see, that's the biggest uh, problem I had with jailbreaking tethered. Just because I had to go to school, I had to turn it off sometimes, and you know how that goes. It's hard with the tethered jailbreaks. I'm gonna show you how to get semi-tethered. So um, what you're going to need is your just your device, and all you have to do is jailbreak it with redstone. It's going to be tethered, and then you go ahead and open up Cydia. You go to sources, go to edit, Add, and this is from the Big Boss repo, so you'll be uh, typing the Big Boss and uh, dot US, and then it's or actually sorry, it's dot org, and then slash semi tether. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and hit Add Source going to update all that um, packages and all that good stuff. And we're going to return to Cydia. And there we can see that we got it right here, the bigboss.org. I'm going to go ahead and click there and then you'll see this package, just one package, semi tether. Go ahead and click that. Going to let it load and then we're just going to click install. I'm going to confirm. Now we just have to reload Springboard. All right, and now we have our uh, device, it respring uh, springboard. And now if we go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on, we will go ahead and be able to use all our main functions. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go, we got the device it's turned back on and we can go ahead and slide to unlock. And we can go ahead and see that Cydia will not work, as well as my notification center, we, I got a, uh, notification center widget and of course that's not there and I also have a quick reply on here which of course is not going to be working so uh, there you have it um, we just rebooted we are of course jailbroken um, we got Cydia there of course not working because we have to reboot tethered but at least you can get all your main functions in including phone calls mail safari listening to music everything that you can do without a jailbroken phone so there you have it rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video